question. Hi everyone, I'm Becky. As you can tell, I'm not the maid of honor. It looks like she's still missing. I hope she's okay. I wasn't actually invited, but I wanted to stop by and surprise Anne. Surprise, Annie! You see, Anne and I grew up next door to each other. We spent every day together. We were joined at the hips, literally. Remember that time I sewed our dresses together and you had no other choice but to spend the entire day with me? So much fun. Anne and I had a favorite game called the Tea Party Prisoner. Since Anne was excellent at wiggling out of her clothes and running away, I would tie her up in a chair and we would have a tea party for hours and hours with all our favorite toys and the neighborhood cats and that raccoon. Hey, did you know that raccoons could commit suicide? <laughs> Who knew? Anne and I also would have sleepovers all the time. I would sit in a big tree outside Anne's bedroom window and watch her sleep like an angel and then run away early in the morning before she even knew I was there. And then Anne's parents decided to move away and leave me all alone. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, how are you? You broke my little girl heart, but I forgive you. And I managed to still be in Anne's life. Anne may not have seen me in over 20 years, but I've seen Anne at that pinata birthday party in the third grade and that bowling birthday party in the sixth grade the high school graduation party in your basement, and then the real party you had with Bobby in the woods behind the school. <sighs> I took a nine hour bus ride to every single one of them because that's what real friends do. Real friends spend their lives together. So John, I know you're Anne's husband now, but are you her friend, her real friend? This doesn't work out, Anne. I have a two-bedroom condo in Gainesville. The second bedroom is yours. I may have to get rid of some cats, but I'd make that sacrifice for you. Oh, well, seems the maid of honor has returned with some police officers. I'm going to get a head start. Dance my dreams, Anne.